theoretical if we didn't test her. What would happen if you gained the ability to bend in space and decided to test them by placing the Earth between the two asteroid belts of our solar system? The short answer is that you may ask for a little bit of planetary extinction. Will we be forced to give up celestial travel? How long will it take for these banded asteroids to come towards us? How big space rocks can we collide with? Our solar system has two asteroid belts. The closest thing to us is the main asteroid belt. Located between Mars and Jupiter, its asteroids are mainly composed of rocks and stones. It is estimated that 16 of them are larger than 240 kilometers 150 miles in diameter. The largest object in the belt is the dwarf planet Sears. More about how this affects the overall situation. Outside of Neptune, the Keeper belt is already behind. An area full of ice remnants from the early solar system, some with a diameter of 100 kilometers 62 miles or longer. Another dwarf planet, Pluto. So, the fate of the Earth is not surrounded by one but two asteroid belts. To understand the scale of this scene, you first need to know what astronomical units are. AU is the distance between the Earth and the Sun. The Kuiper bandwidth is 25O. In contrast, the main asteroid belt with only one EUA seems to be quite sparse. Suppose you left their size and transported them to the side of the Earth. The inner edge of the Kuiper belt will be between Mars and us. The outer edge of the main asteroid belt will be located between the Earth and Venus. Although the main asteroid belt is the smaller of the two, it still extends over the Sun, Venus and Mercury will now orbit in their millions of rocky bodies. The Kuiper belt on the other side will go further. You will find that it covers Mars, Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus. Only Neptune will be excluded from the party, although not many. What will this new arrangement look like on a starry night? I'm afraid it's boring. Think of it this way. Pluto, a dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt, will now orbit about 3 AU away from us. Now it's just the distance between us and Jupiter. Jupiter is a huge gas planet, but to the naked eye, it is nothing more than a bright star. So, can you look forward to seeing Pluto, which is only two-thirds of the diameter of our moon? Nothing really. Perhaps at this point you realize that you have used your power irresponsibly? Plenty! After all, other planets in our solar system are now surrounded by millions of scattered objects, which would be crazy. So will you be trapped on Earth forever? Okay, no. There may be millions or even billions of rocks floating too close to our planet now. Fortunately, the asteroid belt is not that dense. The average distance between objects in the belt is about 1 million kilometers, 600,000 miles. So one day you can still realize your dream of going to Mars? This it unless you squeeze the asteroid belt too tightly. The entire main asteroid belt will now fit between the Earth and Venus, as well as the Kuiper belt between the Earth and Mars. Of course, we are no strangers to flying in garbage dumps. In 2020-21 alone, the lone one, there will be about 23,000 fragments orbiting the Earth in a softball. It's just that now we won't be surrounded by debris left by broken satellites. We have to deal with large pieces of all natural materials. There are hundreds of thousands of objects at least 100 kilometers 60 miles wide in the Kuiper belt alone. Think about it. There are hundreds of thousands of asteroids, uh, each of which is at least 10 times larger than the one that wiped out dinosaurs 66 million years ago. In the main asteroid belt, we will face more than 1 million rocks larger than 1 kilometer h3.6 miles on top of millions of other smaller rocks. So yes, Space travel will be suspended indefinitely. Maybe we can at least do something useful with these asteroids. This is like the mining of iron and nickel, right? Not so fast. You will be busy dealing with asteroids bombarding the Earth from all directions. There you heard that right. Gravity from our planet can attract objects from the surrounding two belts. At the low end of the scale of mass destruction, you will have smaller asteroids that can destroy an entire metropolis and have the same power as a nuclear bomb. Remember Ceres? dwarf planets in the main asteroid belt? It is almost a hundred times the size of the asteroid that caused the mass extinction of dinosaurs. All the small disasters impact on the Earth and whoops, our planet and all life we know. Don't play with the solar system unless you plan to give mankind a new home instead of eliminating all of us in the process. You can try the terrain of Mars. 